بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين my dear fellows and students i am professor ali hazar and this is the third session i am taking about the dermatological manifestation of systemic diseases so we have to you know you have to know, follow the previous uh, uh, two sessions in which there are different type of the diseases who have the specific markers on the skin as the skin lesions and now this is session 3 and it's endocrine disorders we're taking the endocrine disorders you know it, although the list is not completed endocrine disorder have got a lot of uh, dermatological manifestation but few are selected just to remind you that they are important to understand thyroid disorders cutaneous features of the hyperthyroidism the skin there will be pulmonary edema and facial flushing increase skin temperature increase sweating hyperpigmentation pre-tibial mixed edema nails soft nails collinachia distal oncolysis that is called plumber's nail oncolysis that means plumber's nail these are called thyroid acropechy actually these uh, are the peripheral stigmata they are called thyroid acropechy now here they are fine thin hair diffuse alopecia diffuse alopecia shown in this that as something is shown here the pretty bit mixed edema the you know the clubbing will be there the redness of the skin fine there is definitely the the half and half you see half is uh, reddish and half is slightly pale you can see like this and uh, the ankylosis that is the nails they are torn off from the roots and the diffuse type of alopecia and these three are shown here as a pretibial myxedema now primary is being shown here also now, for example one will ask that what are what do you mean by thyroid acropechy or you say that the peripheral stigmata of the hyperthyroidism this issue should be told to the examiner or in your practice now continuous manifestations or features of the hyperthyroidism skin will be pale the cold definitely scaly and wrinkled type of skin an avaro yellow skin color because of the xanthal asthma cirrhosis will be there absence of sweating puffy edema of the hands the face and the eyelids puffy edema of the hands face and eyelids you mean the lower limbs are involved as the non pitting edema nails are brittle and striated nails brittle and striated nails here coarse sparse scalp hair loss of pubic axillary and the facial hair and loss of the lateral eyebrows that is called medarosis loss of lateral part of the eyebrows which are called medarosis i've seen many cases of medarosis although it is not the diagnostic feature it is one of the peripheral stigmata of the hypothyroidism as shown here now here the few the treatment you see that there is a peri orbital puffiness and in this case the one third hair is slightly sparsy skin are the hair also this part anterior baldness or or increase the loss of hair is possibility now here is the thyroid you know it is the skin is shown here this part in the neck and on the limbs dry scaly the edema is present on the lower limbs and as as well as you see some edema is there the anterior anterior you know part of the of the baldness is there and some part of the posterior baldness is there but not the diffuse alopecia you find that the this is the, the one third it is very very sharp just like a sword is seen in this so these are the few things which you have to mention here and i'll inshallah uh, going through the adrenal disorder similar to manner him to the adrenal uh, disorders associated with the dermatological manifestation Now these are the cutaneous manifestation of the Cushing syndrome. There are two polar ends of the disease. 
one is hyperactivity of the gland and one is the reduction of the activity. The Cushing syndrome, you know, is a big topic. The tonkal obesity, classically the deposited the fat over the clavicle and back to the neck, that is called the papalaham, redistribution of fat. That is called redistribution of fat and facial fullness and plethora. Means redness and sweating along with the moon faces, that is. So everybody even wants like this, that the buckle uh, fat is more and reduction of wrinkles. Now these are the, these are typically moon faces, the papalaham, or in deposit of the fat on the back, and uh, the slender limbs because of the myopathy develop in this condition. There will be skin atrophy because of the overactivity of the steroids in the skin, and the fragility, bruising, and poor healing leading to the stria. This is a very important point that is abdominal stria, typically white and red, along the abdomen, they are very, very diagnostic of the Cushing's or hyperactivity of the gland is concerned. Hirsutes, hirsutism occur, <coughs> and uh, over growth of the hair, you can say, or acneform region because of the overactivity of what you call associated with the anabolic steroids. The male pattern badness in the women, that is, male pattern badness is anterior badness. So it is seen in women, actually. That is in, the, in the male, it is the extension or excessive uh, badness in the anterior part of the, uh, of the, already if he's a person is already bald, you know, it will, the, he will increase his badness, you can say. But actually, the androgens, which are called the Adrenal steroids, they are protecting, and the male is concerned, for the badness is concerned. So, then he, this is seen here, this is plethoric phase, the moon-like phase, the edematous, uh, this is moon-like. You know, people who like these faces or not, I don't know. There is a buckle fascia all over my head, a slightly plethoric phase. The lump is seen here as a buffalo hump. Is, uh, or excessive deposition. And this is the balance, anterior balance, here the balance. This is characteristic abdominal trial, which should be checked for every patient. These are the very important peripheral stigmata of the hyperactivity of the gland. The continuous manifestation of distant disease is concerned, in fact, because of the distant disease if you see that there is a problem of the steroids which are forming from the zona reticulum and zona glomerulosa sector of the part, so there will be, because the gland is not functioning, the pituitary will act, and action is through the ACTH. And ACTH are very similar in structure to the melanocyte stimulating hormone. That is why the hyperpigmentation of the skin, hyperpigmentation of the uh, palate, under the tongue and the and the margins of the you know palma creases will be increased. These are the very important findings uh, if you want to check the hyperpigmentation. Patterns of the dystonian pigmentation is the light exposed area, face, dorsal of the hands, area subject to friction, that elbows, knees, waistline. You've seen this uh, typical pigmentation, or the the person can can tell you that there will be increase you know. Uh, he fairness is gone and he's slightly black blackening or tanning tanning in, uh, occurring in these persons accentuation of the normally high pigmentation areas that is very important genital already you know hyperpigmented it is much dark in color than perineum actually aroli and I'm like just like the acanthosis nigra crowns just like this Palmar creases will be definitely prominent, and in this, there will be uh, hyperpigmentation. Tongue and amicus membrane, already told you, you should check the palate also. And this is seen here, you know, this is a darkening, darkening here. This is a normal person, the dark skin. Here again, the same features are shown here in comparison. Palate is dark, the thumbs are dark, 
are seen here as well as the other type of the pigmentation seen in the other people are the depigmentation. They are also seen because of the mismatch of the skin of surrounding areas. If it is hyperpigmented, then other part will be hyperpigmented. Now it is the darkening of the skin, this is the darkening of the gums all over, tongue, typical, you know, pigmentation is seen on the, on the lips also. In diabetes mellitus, there is a lot of, uh, you know, dermatological manifestation, but few are here, the periangle telangiectasia, the microangiopathetic complications seen in up to 49% of diabetes, you see here, this one. And acanthosis negligence, it is seen in these areas, are varicose hyperpigmented plaques seen over axilla, nape of the neck, which is due to the hyperinsulinemia. And then with the granuloma annulia, you see this type of uh, lesions, just an annular type of lesions, white raised skin color having symmetrical distribution of the arms, neck, and the upper half of the trunk. It is very similar to the tinea corporis but it should be differentially diagnosed properly. And then we have the necrobiasis lipodica, the sharply demarcated, that is very important uh, findings. People ask them, and they are fond of uh, examiners' questions. Uh, this is the necro necrobiasis lipodica. Now, sharply demarcated, slightly depressed, yellow waxy plaques with erythematous raised border. Look at this. And inside, in the base and around it, there will be a yellowish tinge, waxy plaques. This is just like this. The very called necrobiasis lipidica. It is sign kiln of the diabetes mellitus, dermatological manifestation. And then we will tell you there was a gastrointestinal disease. Some of parts uh, will be discussed here, although it is a very long discussion. Cirrhosis of the liver, there is definitely the peripheral stigmata with CLD, or I would say cirrhosis of the liver, the spongy angioma, staring as you see palmaritima, you see the clubbing also, dilated abdominal chest veins, including the periomlical veins, capitomatosi, and the jaundice, increased melanin pigmentation, the thin papillary moni skin, and loss of the secondary sexual hair in the males. These are List. Not all of features are present, but these are the common ones, palmarismma, spongy angiomas, and the dilated veins on the uh, lateral part of the abdomen, along with the jaundice. CLD, other than that, muscle wasting, scratch marks are seen because of the, uh, because of the itching, pallor, jaundice, parotid enlargement, xanthal asthma. Xanthal asthma means that the yellow pigmentations are seen in the different areas, clubbing is the primary rhythma, debris contracture. Again, this is a very important point of the, the Peterine's contracture. The spandar nevia and angiomas and pitichi, pakpa, decreased body hair, gynecomasia, testicular atrophy, caped matoizae, and edema, ascites, splenomegaly, asterisks means the flapping tremors, and fetal hepaticus. Now, the long run, all of this, these few. Only few in, uh, peripheral uh, stigmata of the dermatological manifestations are uh, should be checked out. Here you see the, this is the dilated veins coming here, clubbing are seen, and the different parts the deposition of the uh, melanin are there, and the hands, the typical hands of the cirrhotic person, is this is you see they may be associated with carpet syndrome. Palmer rhythm is shown here very clearly. Do not, you know, misdiagnose this condition. The primary erythema, peripheral stigmata. Again, this is hyperpigmentation, peripheral stigmata. Clubbing is peripheral stigmata. Carpeterian syndrome is a part of it. And this is dipetrin contracture. The, first of all, the ring fingers is involved, and then the other fingers are involved. Dipetrin contracture can occur in old ages non serotic is concerned. But in a young person or a middle aged person where the between contracture occurs means that this is, this is the this is the palmar epineurosis deposition as a contracture of the palmar epineurosis. You see the clubbing and pigmentation around it. 
The hail is seen in the abdomen of the gonococcia and the cites along with the hair are present in the females. The very characteristic capitomedosa is this seen. In acute pancreatitis, all these features are not very important nowadays because of the diagnostic facilities. At one time, great turner sign, turner sign, taps from the, because of the hemorrhagic type of pancreatitis, it is the blood which is oozing from the uh, pancreas to the, uh, the quadratus lumborum muscle, then through a defect in the fascia to the subcutaneous tissues of the flank, but it will not go, go down. Left sided in the pancreatitis, only left sided. That is called the greater uh, sign. If you want to see in some patient, it will be seen. Otherwise, it is not the diagnostic criteria. Grand sign, the tax to the scrotum to produce the blue scrotum. It is a blue scrotum you see here. Colon sign means tax into the falciparum ligament through the connective tissues of the round ligament to the uh, to the periamelical A. This is this one. Periamelical veins of the ligament and teres is concerned. Is, is, it is moving on this area and see that there is a, a pigmentation. Here the tunnel sign is shown, you keep on the colon sign on this side, bruising around the umlicus. It, this is the area of the umlicus. It's shown here. Now the few things have been shown to you only. It is a long list. As far as the uh, the, 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 the GIT disorder are concerned or the endocrine disorder. This is not completed yet. But I'll say that we can, uh, we can, uh, you know, these are the simple way to tell you the summary of the uh, few dermatological manifestations. I hope this will be uh, knowledgeable to you, inshallah, ta'ala. See you on the fourth session, inshallah.